Hurricane Milton is now blamed for at least 17 deaths in Florida, and the state's governor says more than 1,600 people have been rescued. WBZ Samantha Cheney is here now, and Samantha, so many neighborhoods still flooded out. Yeah, David, some of the water is actually contaminated. Today we learned pollution from a major phosphate mine spilled into Tampa Bay during the storm. We know the road to recovery will be a long and challenging one. Yeah, come over here to the stairs. Near Tampa, sheriff's deputies sprang into action to rescue a family, including their dogs, after Hurricane Milton flooded their home. While nearby, a team rescued this 91-year-old woman. Across Florida, line workers are doing crucial repairs for more than 2 million Floridians who still lacked power on Friday. Mia Watson of Palm Beach Gardens on Florida's east coast is one of them. This is ridiculous. We need power out here. We need help out here. The deadly storm brought torrential rains, destructive winds, and tornadoes to the Sunshine State. President Biden, who is visiting the storm zone on Sunday, vowed federal help won't let up anytime soon. I want everyone in the impacted areas to know we're going to do everything we can to let you help you pick back up the pieces to get back to where you were. For some Tampa residents, the swamp of storm water and overflowing sewage, while in hard hit Siesta Key, this is the dream home Isabella McGovern's family has been saving years for. They purchased it two days before Helene hit. It's almost like you could still smell the water. When we walked in here this morning, it was all gray. You couldn't see a thing of wood. This Vero Beach family took cover in the bathroom as a twister tore through their neighborhood. Even with the hurricanes, like it's never been this bad. Milton also brought a wave of deadly tornadoes to St. Lucie County in the span of 20 minutes. Now, while some people are slowly returning to their homes, others are just leaving. The Hillsborough County Sheriff urged all residents who live near rivers and creeks to evacuate this morning because the water levels are still rising. David? Hard to believe some of those pictures. Samantha, thank you.